We're here on Lake Orion. What is today? The October, October 6th. 6th. Yep. Sunday, here with October Mike 6th. Keller as we trail Lola and they go out to catch no wake buoys. Go fishing, no wake buoys. No wake buoys. They're not too big, but they're heavy. Lots of meat in them. As you can tell, where it looks like Halloween already. Foggy, foggy day. Uh, the crew of the Miss Lola is uh, Jerry Richards. Might say he's the creator and captain. Chris, what's Chris' name? Bauer, 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 Gino, Seriago, and uh, Jamie Train. And I'm here with Mike Keller. This is uh, Pat Ballinger. I'll do a running commentary, but not too much because I got a don't have a very good announcer's voice, so I'm going to let let the movie speak for itself. Right now we're heading out. It's uh, deserted because of the fog, but it's not a bad day right now. And we're uh, heading over to Bellevue Bridge to pull the first of uh, how many? How many mics do we have I out was here? Counting them last night, I think there's probably seven, maybe eight total. That's all. I'm uh, not I sure. thought it was like twelve something. You got your makeup on. Get your. Uh, 61 actually. 61 right now? Yeah. Okay. That's what's right. Water tent? Yeah. All right. So uh, the Miss Lola, what the? Oh, you, you, Miss Lola's on the far side of the little the Manitou boat here. Okay. Yep. Well, they've uh, got the winch running right now, pulling the, uh, there it comes now. These needle buoys, uh, warn boats to uh, be polite and slow down in uh, no wake areas, designated and approved by the DNR. And, uh, the Lake Orion Lake Association is responsible for uh, putting them in and taking them out each year. Always looking for new members and uh, volunteers to do this job, but just membership in general to uh, help us preserve the quality of the lake. Jerry uh, devised this contraption. I think our, uh, it's about the third version of the extractor. And it uh, works pretty cool. How much does that weigh, Jerry? Do you remember? Sorry? How much does that thing weigh? This weighs about 80 pounds. The weight there weighs 125. Let's 
So right now Jerry is uh, disconnecting the buoy from the extractor. And I'll be storing the buoy in the back of the Miss Lola for transport to storage, off-season storage. What we don't see is what uh, one of the things Jerry did is uh, he hooked a uh, hooked the chain, and that's holding up, as he said, about a hundred-pound weight that's in the water still. system you got there, Gary. I'm not going to lie to you. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, come at it. Open it. All right. They extended the boom out a little moist to assist in pulling the weight out of the water. Clearing the uh, deck. Once it's up, pull it on board and slides the whole boom back. Put us a nice on a dolly. And there you go. This is each buoy's numbered so uh, they know where it goes. Uh, the reason that's important is different depths, so they have different lengths of chain associated with each each weight, and uh, so they can place them back with uh, ease come the spring when they want to put them back out. Takes a little coordination. Uh, and some experience. I understand that uh, Jerry uses this during the season to haul in some of the enormous bass here in Lake Orion, but that's just a rumor. Yeah. All right. Sweet. I just uh, let your secret out that you used to uh, go bass fishing here and get some of the enormous bass that are out on Lake Orion. No doubt this will make the internet and people overseas will see it, so I just want them to know. Buoy number two. We're at the uh, west end of the lake. The first buoy was over towards the middle of the lake near uh, what we call Bellevue Bridge. And I believe here we're at the, is this the entrance to Spring Lake or is this the entrance to Dollar, Dollar Bay? Bay? We're at Dollar Bay entrance. Extended the uh, hoist out so that way the uh, buoy will 
come up and, and meat doesn't uh, doesn't get interfered with, doesn't hit the tail end of the boat or nothing. And here it comes. Jerry's attaching a safety chain to the chain that's to which uh, is, connects the buoy to the weight that keeps it in location. Captain Keller is push, pulling us in a little bit so we get a good shot. There we go. A little note of uh, it's starting to rain out here. Uh, it's bad enough with the fog. It's like uh, raining upwards, and now we've got rain coming down. So, another the buoy is connected by a uh, bolt mechanism. So they're removing the bolt separating the buoy from the weight and uh, once he gets the buoy clear then uh, Jamie will take it to the back of the Miss Lola barge and uh, Jerry will commence to bring on board the weight. Anybody who'd like to partake in the fun of one of these activities is encouraged to uh, join Lola, be a board member. We have uh, nine board members. Awesome. Oh, maybe more than that. We got nine or ten or twelve. But uh, uh, members are encouraged to participate uh, in. And uh, another successful extraction of the buoy. That's good. Jerry's going to attach the. The extractor. Lower it down, lower the, uh, the rails down, and fully mechanisms bringing the dead weight up. Uh, all of these uh, weights and things have been created by Lola members. Primarily, uh, I think Jerry's been uh, been here all this time and. Uh, made these weights themselves with the plastic and casing a concrete filling. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, right out in front. Uh, of course the weight is at least a hundred pounds so they put it on the dolly. They can roll it to the back. The buoys themselves are pretty uh, heavy. As Jerry said earlier, about 80 pounds, so that's... Uh, okay. That's not 100 pounds. That's a lightweight weight. All right. Off to number three. We had a very fresh bit in the rain, now it's raining again. Jamie has attached the uh, uh, 
hoist is step two, hoist hauling up the buoy. Move the uh, armature, I guess, I don't know what you'd call it, up towards the lake, and then that's uh, now they slide it back and that puts it onto the deck without any effort, significant effort on their part. Next step is put the safety chain on the weight. So it doesn't fall fall all the way back in the water. And they can release the pressure and lower the, uh, the buoy back down to the deck where they can disconnect it. Looks like fun, eh? If so if you have nothing to do on a nice rainy October morning. Today happened to be on the 6th, Saturday the 6th. Uh, call up uh, one of the guys at the Lake Association, tell them you'd like to be out here extracting buoys. Or maybe you'd like to come out in April and put them back in. So they've got the chain disconnected from the buoy. and. Uh, Jamie will muscle it back to the back again. It's number three, Jerry's going down. He's uh, rehooking the hoist back to the uh, the weight, extending the armature out over the lake. And Chris is our muscle man. He's he's used running the hoist, pulling it up. Now they slide the armature back. The weight slides over the deck. And, uh, let me set that down. Anybody interested in plans for building your own buoy extractor, uh, contact Jerry Richards of the Lake RN Lake Association. And uh, you can probably discuss some of the finer points. Helps to have engineers on uh, on an organization like this. Uh, this buoy, this weight is heavier, so Jamie had to actually use the dolly. Perfect. It's a beautiful job. Perfect. Good Bravo. job. Bravo. Seems like every time you pull a buoy out of the water now, the rain lets up, so uh, let's keep going. Okay, here we are at the fourth buoy here on Lake Orion. Uh, the boys are pulling up with the extractor, Miss Lola, and uh, the Miss Betty Ford which is the name of the uh, pontoon boat that's propulsing, propelling the extraction boat. All right, Jerry's going to drop a loop around the end of the buoy. Okay, Chris is uh, pulling it up now using the uh, hoist. And, you know, it was raining, you can't tell, but it was raining on the way over to the buoy. No sooner did we get here to extract it, than it stopped raining. So it's like the, uh, the gods are with us today. And it's actually uh, decent, about 61 degrees.
final. Ready for the next step, which will be to slide the extractor backwards so the uh, buoy can be dropped to the deck. Oh, here's a twist. This time the chain is so short, it's uh, shallow at this point. We're able to pull both the buoy and the weight on at the same time. That's a, that's a two for this time. It's a shame it's uh, so foggy today. I guess it's part of uh, with the moderate temperature, but cold enough to cause some evaporation from the lake. We got quite a bit of fog. Otherwise, I could show you some of the lovely homes surrounding the lake here on uh, Lake Orion. Lake Orion, where living is a vacation. That's our motto. Never had to work so hard on vacation, but that's another point. Actually, Lake Orion is quite a nice community. We've got, uh, like the Lake Association, a lot of volunteer activities going on. And uh, it's not a passive community by any means. As a matter of fact, uh, this very day, there's a community build going on at uh, one of our township parks to put up a whole new playground for the kiddies. Uh, they're hoping to get uh, approximately 300 adults to show up and uh, put together the playground equipment in a massive one-day build project. Uh, if anything, we need the weather to cooperate for them. Yes, hopefully it's not raining on the parade grounds or the uh, the playground area. All right, Chris is bringing up the dolly, and Jamie's taking back the buoy, and it's moving like clockwork. Four down, and hey, Jerry, how many buoys we got all together? Seventeen. 17, so 4 down and 13 to go. 17 approved by the DNR by permit. By permit with the DNR. By GPS location. It's not just any willy-nilly presentation. And all of our buoys are marked with the Lake Orion Lake Association. Uh, for those who didn't hear, all our buoys are marked as, uh, with the Lake Orion Lake Association. Well, we've had a little break in the weather. We're able to show you a little bit of uh, what Lake Orion looks like, at least the homesteads. And the boys are pulling up to our sixth buoy. We're off the coast of what I'm showing you now is uh, something called Bellevue, uh, no, Romance, no, not that, Victoria Island. Victoria Island, it sits uh, in between, or off the end of Romance Island at the end of Bellevue. Uh, Bellevue Island's connected by road to the mainland, if you will call it that. But Victoria is a pure island, so in the wintertime and in the spring and fall, you take your chances of crossing the lake. Yet there are many, uh, not a whole lot because it's an island, but there are a number of people who stay the whole year round, make accommodations. All right, Jerry's getting ready with the loop. Pulling number six, pulling the loop, and there she goes. All right, time for the hoist. Chris is pushing the button that activates the automatic hoist. You can see the uh, lamp perhaps on the top of the buoy. 
get that in shot here. Oh, I lost the team. Pull back. There we are. So that's the uh, the lamp, the solar lamp at the top of the buoy. Lights up a little bit at night. You see the buoy's number. Number. This is number five, but we're actually taking it out as the sixth buoy. Chain is short enough on this one. We may get an extraction uh, twofer. Not sure. Okay, safety chain is on. I'm going to slide back the mechanism. Here comes the buoy on deck. Good thing Jerry's got his waterproof boots on. That might have hurt going across his foot there. Okay, now we're moving the... Moving the buoy from the uh, chain, securing it to the weight. And Jerry continues now. He's re-secured the... Uh, the hoist mechanism, so they're pulling the weight out of the water. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, they're impatient. Jerry says, get that buoy out of there. And the weight's on board. And I'll release the various chains and hooks. That's how it's done on the Miss Lola by Jerry Richards and crew. You can see the fog in the distance lifting off. I'm going to take a little break and show you some of the shoreline here. It has a pleasant mix of larger homes, newer built, larger, and on occasions you come across the seasonal homes, the cottages that initially populated the lake starting in the late 1800s when uh, Detroit a railroad uh, actually uh, ran up to Lake Orion from Detroit and would drop off summer fun seekers to spend a week or a day or two even at, here in Lake Orion. Um, the DAR was short for the railroad and many people by the thousands would come up. And at one time it was even an amusement park here on the Oort Lake and people would enjoy the amusement park. Captain uh, Mike Keller is now uh, moving us out as the Miss Lola takes off for Bowie number seven. And I think we're going to say adieu to Miss Lola and head into shore right now.